Hello there. Now, not too many people know this, but there's this city in Australia called Sydney. Now, although many people don't really know about it, it did get uh, quite a lot of attention around the world about 14 years ago when it hosted a fairly well-known international sporting event, but since then, not too many people are really aware of it. That's why I'm here in Sydney to make a video making people, hopefully, a little bit more aware of this exotic and mysterious locale. So join me as I take a trip around the city, making a fool of myself as per usual. I like to call it Sydney, Australia's undiscovered secret. Here I am on the rocks at Bondi Beach on a surprisingly sunny Friday afternoon. You know, a Bondi Beach brings in a lot of tourists. But what a lot of people don't know is that many people only come here to wash themselves in these little pools on the rocks. Mm. Surprisingly effective. And the formations in those rocks remind me of uh, an ancient rippled sponge cake. And that looks like a fish's head. Looking out to sea. Bondi Beach and the rocks that I'm standing on right now are uh, actually a man-made formation that was created in 1997 as a place for people with Southern Cross tattoos to come and display them. But these waters have long since eroded the original part of the beach that uh, was there purely to resemble giant stacks of pancakes. This is Hyde Park near the centre of Sydney. Just over three years ago I saw Kitty, Daisy and Lewis before me. Just over there. Of course they're not there right now so let's go to some archive footage. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Let's go and check out the tourist attractions. So that's the opera house behind me, of course. And it was designed to look like uh, apple segments, uh, sails, washing hanging up. Take your pick, really. So as I was saying before, not a lot of tourists really know about Sydney yet. All these people taking photos of the Opera House aren't actually tourists, they're just locals. They love their city so much, they want to photograph it at every opportunity. And who could really blame them, eh? You can see for yourself just how huge Sydney has become. And for a city that was only founded in 1994, that's pretty impressive. The Vivid Festival is an annual light and sound show where inner city Sydney comes alive with all kinds of light displays and installations, some of them interactive. I'm going to stop with the voiceover now so you can get an idea of what it's like. Enjoy!
Yeah. 